Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here, coach of your Wexford and Whalers, and welcome to our week 9 battle up against Johnny GB, coach of the Oregon Ducklets. If you guys haven't checked him out, definitely do so. I'll link to his channel and all the other coaches' channel will be in the description down below. Um, hold on, let me just set up this game right here real quick. Um, but guys, this week is the final week in the regular season. Uh, I'm not going to kind of keep you guys in suspense with playoffs. I'm just going to tell you straight out where we're at. We have secured second seed. Results elsewhere have gone our way and we have managed to seal the second seed for us. So that means that win or lose, we will get second seed, thankfully. And we'll, we will have to go through quarterfinals and semifinals and finals and whatever. You, I'll tell you guys all about that later, uh, probably if I know. But, um... But we definitely we, we may play us. That's the main thing. Um, unfortunately, I kind of I couldn't do a mean battle this week because by the time Johnny and I got to sit down and actually have this battle, the results that's where it happened. So by when I was prepping for this battle, I did, I didn't know I could we could meme, but we, we could have meme. So it's a bit unfortunate, but I'm kind of glad that we are taking this really seriously because I'm a bit rusty. Simple as that. I'm able to sit down and play Pokemon properly in weeks. It absolutely like it what feels like weeks. So like I think the last proper battle I had was before my move. I haven't sat down and actually properly laddered or battled or streamed for you guys at the time I record this video. So it's been unfortunate. So hopefully I can actually get back into swinging things just as we come into playoffs and get right at. But anyways, Johnny's team I'll quickly run through consists of Kuro Black, Megasis or Zeror, which is the Z Captain, Crook, Nihiligo, Tangos, Alamomola, Uxi, Espeon, and Kelkleon. My team is a choice by Victini, Rock Polish, Kumo, uh, Spadef, Agron. Uh, we're rocking out with leftovers at uh, Raikou. Um, fairly standard defensive spread on Amoongus and a fair, and fully fist death investment on Sylvia to deal with Kieran Black. Um, team better in the description below if you want to see me break down Johnny's team and show you guys my team and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, a bit more in depth analysis and all that kind of and all that all that kind of shenaniganery. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can pick up the W. Hopefully we can pick up the W. Uh, obviously, a little bit nervous because I haven't played in a while. And Johnny is actually a very good battler. Despite what his record says, he actually is a very good battler. So very, very worried. Very worried. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got Zero Aura. We have got Alamomola. Alamomola. Uh, we got Tangrowth. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we got Nihiligo. Uh, we got Crook. And we got Espeon. Alright, Braid. Okay, so. What I see here is that we don't have to deal with Kieran Black, which is fantastic. I feel like he might leave a Crook because he might see the Agron lead. And that would definitely scare me out. Um, so he might leave a Crook. Um, Nihiligo is a threat, right? Scarf and Nihiligo can run over my team very, very quickly, which isn't nice. So that would mean that we have to be very careful how we play around the Hiligo until we can figure out what his set is. He has brought that nasty regenerator core, which he has, which is terrifying. But um, Choice Band Victini hopefully should be able to break through it once we kind of scout out what he wants to do. Uh, I see no hazard removal, but he does have Magic Pounce Espeon, so we've got to watch out for that. Until Espeon is gone, we cannot reliably go for our rocks with Agron. So he's got, to, he's got that to uh, look forward to. But I'm going to with my Sylvia because I predicted Crook to lead. Because I have led with Agron most weeks. And it is a very standard lead to bring in. So we're going to leave Sylvia to try and counter that. Anyways, good luck. Have fun, Johnny. Hopefully we have a nice clean battle. And uh, I'm, I'm still getting used to the, how my, the Zoom sounds. I think... Oh, it's weird. Especially when I sit down and record. But it's weird. But anyways, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um... And hopefully it all works out well. Hopefully it works out well. We're going to leave with our Sylveon. As he's going to leave with his Zero Aura. I have no problem staying in here. I'm going for a big massive Hyper Voice. Um, we're fully first death. We can take any hit from the Zero Aura, Zero Aura uh, completely. Get a Hyper Voice off. Uh, he probably goes into his either his Tangro or his Alamomola. If he switches out, which I expect him to do. Uh, I could put Tom Pass, get a slow U turn off. Uh, if he is going to, I think he's full switches or he hard switches out. So if he's going to do either or of those, I think he brings in either Tango or Alamomola. I could bring in my Victini then. So I think I just go for the slow uh, Tom Pass, give us a bit of momentum here, as he is just going to full switch. Uh, we sponge that very, very nicely. That would, that would have been a free hyper voice, but because it's got regenerators and the like, I, I'm a bit wary as to um, just getting hits off, because he can just recover them off. Like, we're seeing Tango come in here now, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Now, I can bring in my 
I could bring in Victini here and go for a Toxic. I feel like we might do that because I think immediately he isn't going to stay in, in here on us. There's just no way. We, we got Victini in for relatively free. I'm going to go for my Toxic this turn. I feel like he goes into Alamomola. Hands down. No problem. Oh, he might actually go into Espeon. No, I don't think he goes for it this early. Espeon would be a bit scary with the magic bounce. But I feel like he definitely goes into Alamomola. I'm gonna make I'm gonna go for that. Uh he does bring the Alamomola. If we can land this toxic, this would be huge for us. And we do and we do land it. Perfect. Okay, so this is now toxic. Ideal. So Alamomola is now badly poisoned. Brilliant. Uh, I am gonna stay around in here. I don't want to uh, I don't want him to get any notions. I'm gonna bring my uh, my Raikou. I'm gonna bring my Raikou. That's what I'm gonna do. This is uh this is very good a start for us guys getting the Alamomola poisoned like that. So it means that Alamomola is not gonna be able to stall us, but we'll be able to scout what's going on here with this Alamomola. Um uh, he is gonna go for knockoff. Okay. And you have lefties. Okay, but you are toxic as well, which is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna go, I could go reflect here. And I think I will go for reflect here because he's either gonna go into Tangrowth or he's gonna go out into his uh, Crocodile here. So I'm just gonna go for the reflect. The idea of reflect is here now, I, I'm free to switch into an earthquake. I'm very much so free to switch into an earthquake. So we're going to get our effect up. And that will allow us to actually have a bit of fun. Uh, to have a lot, uh, to have an awful lot of fun. Uh, I could bring in uh, Amoongus here to kind of 1v1 this, uh, this Tangro and this Alamomola. What does he bring in against my Amoongus? I don't think he has much. I could bring in my Agron, go for a curse, but I don't want to take the, even though I got reflective, I don't really want to take that hit. I could bring in Victini, which could be a nice sort of play. We should be able to come in and eat up whatever, if the Earthquake, he's going to go Earthquake, I'd say. It's either going to be Earthquake or Knockoff. Uh, I definitely would like to bring in, I think Amoongus, no, hold on. I don't want to sacrifice Victini just yet. So let me bring in my Amoongus, let me bring in my Amoongus. I don't want to bring in Victini just yet. We do, or at least we do have the, um, we do have the Reflect up. He just, he is knock off as well. Okay, cool. Uh, so he's knock off Tangroat. Now I could go for a Toxic here. Toxic here is really, really nice because if he goes into Alamomola or Nihiligo or Espeon, I'm not going to get Toxic either and Stomp Tantrum does double the amount next turn. So I could go for that. I could go for Surge Bomb, get a big hit off. Um, do, 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 do. I have hit Power of Fire. I feel like I feel like we can go for the Sludge Bomb here. I feel like we go for Sludge Bomb. As he is going to withdraw and goes out into his Espeon. Okay. So in comes Espeon. I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb. That was nice. That army sank the poison. But we got a nice damage there on that Espeon. Uh, I'm just going to say poison. Nice damage. Really nice damage on the Espeon. Um, I don't want to bring my Aggron just yet. I would like to bring in uh, Sylveon or my Victini. Um... I think we might bring Victini here, because Victini should be able to live any hit, and I could go for a U-turn. So I'm going to withdraw. I think he goes Psychic. I think he goes Psychic. Or Shadow Ball. If he, he might make the read. He goes Future Sight. Now that is very scary. That is very, very scary. Um, so we got two turns to try and figure out what we want, what we who, what or who we want to eat this uh, this future side. I'm just going to go for a U turn. I ain't going to stick around here. He does go for the shadow ball. We are going to bop this uh, Espeon here. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, so wow. Okay, that crit was nasty. 
Espeon is gone, but we're on one HP with Victini. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um. Now, I'm gonna bring my Agron this turn. I feel like that's the play. I uh, wish that effect was still up. I feel like he, he, does, he can bring in Crook, and he does bring in Crook. Now, I'm very worried about Future Sight. I'm very worried about Future Sight. Um, I right, still leave Victini around. Victini does an awful lot of work for us still. If I get Rocks up though, he's got no hazard control. Uh, so that means, like, the likes of the Heligo, Zero, or Alamomoda, Tango, they will constantly get punished. Um, so there's that. Um, let me have a look here. This is this has become this has become a little bit more of a decision. This becomes a little bit more of a decision here. Um, so if he goes earthquake, he's doing half. Now I'm a little bit worried about future sight. I'm a little bit worried about future sight, and I'm a little bit worried about his nihiligo. So I feel like we bring in Sylveon and we keep Agron healthy. I think that's what we do. I think that's what we do. As he just goes stealth rocks and that was a pain. I should have got I wish I had I wish I went rocks. As we do eat that future sight attack. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. The combination of Earthquake and Future Sight was probably going to put us in a bad spot. So I'm happy enough with that. Uh, I'm going to go for a Wish. I'm going to go for a Wish as he just goes Earthquake. Oh, we're in a bit of a tight spot now. We do live. I do get my Wish up. I know it's not Scarfed. So that's, all, that's very, very good. Um, I, f we could probably go for a, I could probably, pres no, I can't preserve this, I don't think. We're less than 20, we're less than 10%. So we're going to go down no matter what this turn. The question is, who, is, do I want something to catch a wish? Um, do I want something to catch a wish? Victini is dead, right? No matter what. So we're in a spot of butter there. Uh, I don't think... See, I could bring in my, in my Kumo O here, on rocks, on, on an EQ, I'll be wished up and I can go for a, I can go for any move I want here. So yeah, yeah I think we bring in my Kumo O because I get my, I get my, I get a wish, I'm not going to be intimidated, I scare this thing out and we should be good. So I'm going to bring Chief and we're going to get hit by rocks, we're going to live this EQ, we're going to eat this. And we should be back. We'll be back up to full after that. And uh, beautiful. That worked brilliantly. All right. I'm just going to go for my drain punch because I can. I'm not in a position to sweep with Combo just yet. So there's no need to. Uh, no need to try and force the issue. I'm just going to go for my um, go for my drain punch. It probably brings in Tangro, maybe. Probably. Um, at least the Alma Mola is toxic. I can keep going for Toxics as well now, which is really, really nice. Don't have to worry about Espeon or whatever. I just keep going for Toxics with my Amoongus whenever it comes in. Amoongus becomes key for us now. Amoongus becomes pivotal for us. Absolutely pivotal. Um, right, we're just going to go for a Drain Punch. That's... Did minuscule damage. Absolutely minuscule damage. We do have... We have to break through the Alma Mola. Like, there's just... There's just no way, there's no two ways about it. We have to break through the Alamo Mola. We have no other way of dealing with it. Um, I might bring in my Raikou here. Well, I need, uh, Raikou is very important. Amoongus, right, isn't a big deal. I don't feel like, I feel like Amoongus is not a big deal. I could also sack Sylveon here and get a clean switch into my Raikou. I could do that. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I would like rocks up. 
to really punish him. To punish him a lot. If I'm being honest. I would definitely like that. Um, what I could do is I could sack Sylveon, set up my rocks. Right. Do I sack Sylveon or Victini? I think we sack Sylveon. Right, and then we bring in Aggro and set up my rocks. Because rocks, I think, is very important for us this, uh, in this game. Very important. The crit on Victini is, is very problematic because that thing was meant to break through stuff. And the fact that Espeon has... Um, the fact that Espeon got the crit has meant that I am forced into eventually sacking it and this and that was meant to be my wall breaker so that's not a good spot for us that crit has really thrown us for a loop i am going to bring my aggro on this turn i am going to get my mega off because it's a free mega um and i am just going to get a uh, step rocks up and i think that's going to be fairly pivotal so mega evolve and uh, step rocks now i can set up with my aggro I, I could potentially set up with my aggro because once we go, once we bring aggro, I can I set up rocks and I can go for curses and whatever, and potentially deal with uh, the crocodile. But we're just going to mega evolve. I'm gonna stay in, so I'm probably going for the scald. Look, look, looking to fish for that burn. Doesn't do too much to us. Does get that burn though, which is a bit problematic. Uh, we're gonna go for rocks. And now, now we're in a bit of a better spot now. Much better spot. I feel like at this point, guys, right? Like, the animal wallet is, isn't going to be able to do too much to us, right? Like, I feel like he switches here. And I feel like he switches into... I feel like he switches. So I'm just going to go for my curse. I don't see this animal wallet staying in any longer because he'll want to get the regenerator. There we go. I feel like he might bring Crook. He does bring Crook. Okay. So Crook is going to come in. Get the Intimidate off. Uh, that does render us a little bit more useless. Uh, so our speed is going to fall, but our defense will pile up. Solar defense. Um, I feel like I don't particularly want to stay in here. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Uh, so because I don't feel like it, I might bring in my Amoongus again. I feel like we definitely bring in us here. I don't feel I don't feel like staying in here anymore. <laughs> I feel like I sound like such a child. I don't feel like staying in here or Agron anymore. Um I see does go EQ. Okay, we should eat that. Come on. Thank you very much, Mushroom. Thank you. Uh okay, I'm gonna go for a Sludge Bomb here. I do not have Giga Drain. I didn't bring the tech. But I am gonna go Sludge Bomb. And uh, let's see what we get. Oh, this is not great, guys. This is not a great spot. Now, we can still figure our way out of it. Is there Aura's going to come in here? Alright. Okay. I'm just going to get that damage off on you. Uh, nice, healthy chip, that. Uh, I feel like I could bring in my... Uh, I feel like I could bring, I could probably sack my Victini here. I could probably sack my Victini here because I don't, I don't know what you go for. I really do not. I have no idea what you go for here. The burn on oh, Aguan's annoying because it makes it renders him a bit useless. Uh, I like I have to get a couple of curses up now. Like I have to get like minimum three curses before I can start doing a bit of work because Intimidate and Crook can come in and just render me useless again. Um, I would definitely want to keep my combo on the back because their auras would well within range of thing with Jigs. Alamomola, massive problem. I'm not gonna be able to one v one it. Well, I might be able to one v one it, but not brilliantly. Don't I can't one v one the Tangro can't mm, can't quite yet one v one the Heligo. I need just a bit more chip on the Alamomola, to be honest, because the Skull Burn kills me. Uh, absolutely kills me. I feel like we could sack Victini, bring in my Raikou. Sack Victini, bring in my Raikou. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like we sack Victini here. I feel like we sack Victini. 
I think that's what we have to do. I think that's what we unfortunately have to do. So Vitini's gonna go down. Uh, it was a bit tough now, I'm not gonna lie. As we do, he bops the Z move. Oh, he was Z bounce. So that worked out very well for us. That worked out very, very well for us. Um, so there's a few things I can do. I feel like we can bring in my, my Raikou. We can bring in Raikou fairly free here. I could go for Reflect. Uh, I could go for Reflect. Uh, now if I got a Reflect up. If I got a Reflect up. I'm, uh, I'm just trying to think here. Can I live a hit? If I got a Reflect up there's a chance I can live, I can live an Earthquake from a Crocodile. But not much. Not much. Uh, so with that in mind. I'm going to go for the... Hidden power of fighting because I couldn't run Aura Sphere this week, unfortunately. As he is just going to go for a Vol Switch. Yeah, so there's no, there's, there's legit no way we were going to what's called do anything there. Um, so we're just going to go for hidden power of fighting if it brings in Crook, which is fantastic. Uh, you're going to take a bit of Rocks damage. You're going to take a bit of Chip here, which is brilliant. Um, so hidden power. Here we go. Nice bit of damage. Nice bit of damage. Okay. We ain't sticking around in here. We ain't sticking around at all. Um, we ain't sticking around at all. I still have... Nihiligo is still a problem. <laughs> straight up. Straight up. Nihiligo is still a problem. Uh, and so is Alamomola. I need Thorin for the Alamomola. I need Thorin in a bad way for Alamomola. Uh, but Amoongus can do... A, can deal with both of them, with like both Tangro and Alamo one, it can deal with both. Um, and I need Agron from the Heligo to get chip on it. Uh, now, because unless the Heligo scarf, it's really looking like the Heligo scarf to me, based off all the damage I've seen. Uh, okay, I don't. Mm. If I sack Thor in here, if I sack Thor in here. How do I be Adam Amola? Has to be Among Us. Has to be Among Us. Has to be Among Us. Right. But he's probably going to go EQ because I have nothing that wants to come in EQ right now, bar my Among Us. And even then, I don't want Among Us taking two EQs right now because I that might put him in range. I feel like I feel like we sack Thorn, which isn't great, but I feel like we sack at this point. He stays in. Or he withdraws. Sorry. Brings in Tangrowed. Oh, I take that. I thought he. I thought we were done. I thought we were. Thought we were. We were done at that point. We only got a small bit of chip there, but I'm okay with that. Uh, we could go for a reflect. Oh, sure, he was. Yeah, he's not scarf. I. I out speed. Oh, I forgot. So I was definitely worried. He's not scarf. I even wrote in my notes. You can tell I'm rusty. He's not scarf. So we have that thing beaten with crook as well. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh... So he, Croak is now within range, or we can beat Croak 1v1 with Thorin. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to bring my Amoongus. And let Amoongus start doing a bit of work. Okay. Alright. I definitely need Agron before that Nihili go. Uh, so there's the Infestation. Alright. So he was looking to trap me and 1v1 one one of my Pokemon. Uh, the problem here now, buddy, is that you cannot 1v1 my Amoongus. <laughs> so, at one point, you're going to have to make a switch here. You're going to have to bring Zero Aura, you're going to have to bring Crook, or you're going to have to bring a Nihiligo. But one of them is going to have to come in here. Or, or Alamomola. But does Alamomola really want to take damage? Because I don't know if it does. I don't know if it does. He, don't, he actually stays in goes for EQ. He might be thinking he, can want, he might want to try and break through my Moongus here. And to be fair, that is a scary prospect. But I'm just going to go for my Sludge Bomb. Oh. That's tough. Uh, EQ might break me here. Um, I, could break, I could put a Sludge Bomb on him. Or I could put a Toxic on him. Now if I put a Toxic on him, that means... 
this tango will eventually die, like the Adam Amola. It will eventually die. Um, like Agron. Like how Agron would beat it. Um, I am going to put Toxic on it. I am going to put Toxic on it because that might open the door for come all eight doors. If we can survive this, that is. We do. We will land this Toxic. And that will put this um, Tangro well within range of a couple of bits and pieces, of a few bits and pieces. Okay, we're gonna go down here, unfortunately. That is what it is. Uh, now I can bring Agron and go for a curse. And go for a curse. I'm still, I'm pinning my hopes on Como here, you guys. I am pinning my hopes on him. I am well and truly pinning my hopes on him. If Como goes down, we're, we're doomed. So I'm pinning my hopes on come all. Um, I'm going to bring in my Agron. And we go for Curse, I, th I think. Because he's going to be forced to switch out. He's going to be forced to switch out. And I don't have enough damage on Alan Momona just yet. So I feel like we bring Agron. Yeah, we bring Agron. Right, okay, so we could go for two KO here against the against the gosh darn crocodile. Because Crook is fairly well re weakened here. Um oh man, this is this is not a great spot here. And I am burned. So Ironhead could, could to a chaos. Oh, could, so, oh, sorry, could hit a two echo the crook. Uh, if I go to plus one, if I go to plus one, plus one, curse could do a bit of work there. Carbon really wants to go iron head. Really want to go iron head. Really want to go iron head. Um. Another power wants to go curse. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go curse. I'm gonna go curse. As he's gonna withdraw. Okay. Out into Alabamola. Alright. Now, listen here, buddy. I have no problem trying to 1v1 you at this point. I have no problem trying to do that. Actually, no, I can't. I cannot I cannot touch this thing. I cannot touch this thing. Alamola just was this. Like, constantly. Um, on the off chance he decides to make a double, I'm gonna go for another curse. Okay, hold on. If we're at. Oh, I wish. Okay, I'm just trying to think how am I gonna break through this nasty wall? The crit on Victini is so annoying. That was a bit huge because Victini was designed to break through that regenerator core. And we were doing as soon as we went down the one, I was like, that could be game. That could well have been game. I don't think you stay in here. I really don't. I think he brings in Crook or some, some shenanigans like that. I'm gonna go for Iron Head. Uh, just to see if he makes a switch. Just to see. Let's see what you got, Alamola. Let's see what you got. Uh, he's going to withdraw, and he's going to go out into Tangrose. Tangrose is going to be at a fairly decent HP now. And but we get a, we get a nice chunk of damage off on it. Uh, I could again try to one v one this thing. Mm. Do we go for a curse and a, or do we go for a fire punch? I'm at. Plus two, well I'm at plus one really. Realistically, I'm at plus one. Uh, another curse put me at plus two. Against that Alamomola. Uh, I think we try. I think we go for one. I think we go for one. One more. As he goes infestation trying to trap me. Now that is gonna hurt. That's gonna be a nightmare because that will chip massively on me. I have to go for fire punch next turn. That's the play. That's the play. 
Come on, uh, toxic damage. I need you to start rolling out the, the big, the big, the big hits here, man. The wish on Adam Amona is a problem. It's straight up a problem. But I just need you within range of a Raikou. Giga Drain. We eat that. Oh, this regenerator core is killing me. Uh, we go for Fire Punch. That's nice. That's solid. Okay. The infestation will pick us off. Cool. All right, I am going to bring in my Raikou here. I'm, I'm going to go for extra sensory. I have no real choice to matter. I do not want to bring Como at this point. I do not. Not yet. Not yet. Not right now. Uh, so I am going to go for the extra sensory. And if we can pick off the Alamo Wallet, that, uh, the Tangro here, we don't. We're going to die to an EQ. At least Tangro goes down. So Tangro goes down. And that leaves. That leaves the coma up. With, against among uh, against Alamomola. Now, the Alamomola is toxic. That is there. That is an important note here. Is that the Alamomola is toxic? As in comes the Nihiligo, looking to finish the game off with a dazzling gleam. If it has a dazzling gleam, it goes for it now. Uh, I'm gonna go with rock polish. If it has a dazzling gleam, it goes for it now and wins the game. It does win the game, and that would be GG. Because we do not, we're not able to beat that. Oh, but GG, Johnny. Great game, buddy. Great game. I feel like once Victini went down to one with the crit on off the Shadow Ball, we were in that too horrific situation because we just couldn't, we wouldn't be able to, um, we weren't able to climb back from that because once, that was our wall breaker. That was our principal wall breaker. Like we were designed to be able to smack the, um, we were designed to be able to smack the, uh, gosh, the darn, um, what's called a generator called, with our banded Victini and, Go from there and once we once watch got once Vitini was not banded, we were what's called once Vitini was gone, we were like our offense has just been shattered because our Como O is designed to set up and sweep, you know, not uh, what's called rock polish, not to clean up, not to uh break and not to wall break. So um we were a nightmare there. I thought if we what's called if a little bit of stuff went already a little bit more, it could have worked out. Um but it just wasn't to be, it just wasn't to be, like, Johnny played very well to try and make sure that he never, we never got a full hold back in the game. But anyways, GG Johnny, great game. Um, that leaves us as 6 and 3. We still have the number 2 seed. Hopefully, uh, I can actually get, uh, uh, shake off a bit more rust. Uh, I feel like we played decently that game. I just not a play, I feel like it's a bit more questionable. I'm like, you know, it's just, it just, maybe, like, the prep probably was a bit off. I don't know. I, I have to, I have to really have a think about it. I feel like we sacked stuff at the right times, what have you. I just need to have a think about what went wrong and uh, go from there maybe because it's definitely, definitely something I should consider and look back on. But yeah, GG Johnny, great game buddy. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please click like button down below for me. Make sure to check out Johnny's channel, link to his channel in the description down below. If you guys want to comment on today's video, would it be good, bad or different, let me know in the comment section down below and clear your thoughts on the battle, how it went, all that kind of good stuff. And last but not if you want to see more Wexel Wheeler action coming away on this channel or more content in general, please smash the subscribe button down below for me and click that bell icon. And I know I'm going to get up out of here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.